Hi guys, welcome to my session. In this session, we are going to cover one more interesting topic that how to integrate our open AI with .NET Core Web API. One of my previous session, I already saw how to integrate Char GPT open AI completion with the SDK or NuGet packages. Also, I created a few other Char GPT videos. I will give the link of these videos if you are missed or if you are interested then please check it out. For today's session we are going to use Visual Studio 2022. I am going to create a .NET Core Web API project. So here I am creating this one. I am giving chart GPT API. Click on next. No need of HTTPS for now. Click on create. So what I was telling that in this session particular, this session actually, I saw how to integrate using SDK or NuGet packages. Today I am going to show you how to integrate using a simple web API or calling a simple web API. Click so our web API application got created. For this, you need a prequisting. You need to go to your open AI. You need to sign up or login. Then you need to go to this account view APIs. Here you will get this API key. You need to create a secret key. This secret key will be used for chart GPT completion request. Now API got created. So you can see our applications, our file is there. I am going to add a new controller, which is our new controller. And here I am going to add a empty API controller. I am giving chart controller, click on R. Guys. After completing this video, I am going to keep this video source code in the Google Drive and give the link on video description. So you can download and check it out. So I no need of this route now. Right. I need few class files and for the sake of timing, I am going to copy paste here. So I need few classes which is uh, completion request, one class, completion response, I am going in detail one by one and chart GPT usage. Next is chart GPT choice. So in chart GPT choice, we have a property called text. In chart GPT use, usage, we have property prompt tokens, completion token, total token. In completion response, we have choices and usage of this particular class. In completion request, we have model, what is the chart GPT model we are going to use, what is the prompt or what is the query, and what is the maximum token or max token. Next, I am going to create an API here by using this four model and calling the chart GPT upon AI. Completion API. To save timing, I am going to copy paste here this complete API where I am using a get API. It is accepting the query or the prompt and creating a completion request by using the completion request model we just saw. Right? Next, we are creating a completion response equal to new completion response. Using HTTP client, I am giving the authorization and the API will be https double slash api dot ai dot upon ai dot com slash v1 slash completion. Next, the header will be authorization and b order will be our token. Token will be starting, you can see this one. 
starting with SK and ending with RVD0. Right? Now, we have requesting this API and getting the status code, if status code is true, then getting the completion response, then I am getting the completion response in the completion text. If you see in this model, so this is chart GPT text. Right? Then I am returning that completion text here. So this is very easy. In my previous session also, I saw this particular, this is near to 10 minute session. And I think this video also need to go into 7 or 8 minutes. So it will be very easy to learn from this video. So we have completed our code. Now run the application and see it is working or not. So this is first time I am running. It will take a bit more time. Yeah, application got run successfully. So you can see there are two API which is by default weather forecast and this one we, we created you charge GPT. Let's try it out. So what is likes? I'm giving a question and which is posting as a query here. So you can see life is something something what about the response is generated by charge GPT. life of a programmer let's see how interesting the response is coming the life of program can be rewarding as they often get work on challenging and interesting project working as a program can be involved long hour through the exact duration of number hour will depend upon the specific job and employer Yes, it's true. Beside coding, many programs also spend time testing their program, researching and learning new programming languages and technologies. Designing program, handling support issues from customer. Unfortunately, the life of programmer can be, I don't think there is something, something. So these are the response from ChatGPT. We are integrating using our .NET Core Web API 6.0 and ChatGPT open, open AI. API. Guys, I hope you like this session. If you do, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.